Hello Year 9. Your first task is to complete the retrieval practice, which is displayed on the board. Number 1. What T is used to show how a character is feeling when delivering lines of dialogue? Number 2. What P is used to show a character's age when delivering lines of dialogue? Number 3. What are mannerisms? Number 4. What is gait? Your teacher will pause the video here for you to write down your answers. Here are the correct answers. Please make sure you write these down on your sheet. Number one, tone is used to show how a character is feeling when delivering lines of dialogue. Number two, pitch is used to show a character's age. For example, high pitch is usually to show a child. Two, three, mannerisms are small habits which are unique to a person or character. Four, gait is how wide or narrow your legs are whilst walking. Once you've completed the question sheet, please stick this into your books. Your teacher will pause the video here. Lesson outcomes. What? Introduction to Willie Russell's Blood Brothers to gain an understanding of what is happening in a given scene. Why? To explore a given extract communicating what character is like through their vocal and physical skills. Blood Brothers. Willie Russell wrote the play in 1982. The story is a contemporary nature versus nurture plot revolving around fraternal twins who were separated at birth. The twins' different backgrounds takes them to the opposite ends of the social spectrum, one becoming a counsellor and the other unemployed and in prison. They both fall in love with the same girl, causing a tear in their friendship and leading to the tragic deaths of both brothers. We're now going to watch a short clip. Think about how the actor uses vocal and physical skills to show the audience the age of the character. I wish I was our Sammy. Our Sammy's nearly ten. He's got two waves and a catapult, and he's built an underground den. But I'm not allowed to go in there. My mum says I have to wait by the gate because I'm only seven, but I'm not. I'm nearly eight. I sometimes hate our Sammy. He robbed my toy car, you know. Now the wheels are missing and the tops broke off and the bleeding thing won't go. And he says when he took it, it was just like that. But it wasn't. It went dead straight. But you can't say nothing when they think you're seven, but you're not. You're nearly eight. I sometimes wish I was our Sammy. You want to see him spit? <coughs> oh, straight in your eye from 20 yards. And every one of hits. And he's allowed to play with matches. And he goes to bed dead late. But I have to go to bed at seven, even though I'm nearly eight. You know our Sammy? You know what he sometimes does? <laughs> he draws pictures of nudie women with no arms or legs or even heads <laughs> at the baths when we go swimming. But I'm not allowed to go to the baths. My mum says I might get drowned and I have to wait because I'm only seven. But I'm not! I'm nearly eight. You know what, Sammy? You know what else he sometimes does? <laughs> he pees through the letterbox of the house next door to us. <laughs> I tried to do it once, but I had to stand on a crate because I couldn't reach the letterbox. But I will be able to by the time I'm eight. Read through the given extract, answering the following questions. What is happening in the scene? Who is speaking? What are they like? What advice would you give an actor? For example, what vocal and physical skills would you encourage them to use? Your teacher will pause the video here for you to annotate, make notes on your script. Now you're going to do a more thorough analysis. You're going to annotate your script with your ideas for voice and physical skills. You're picking out 
key lines of dialogue. So for example, I wish I was our Sammy. You would underline the word wish and put that you would like to emphasize it. When delivering the lines to worms, you would underline the word to and write on your script that you perhaps would gesture with your fingers that there are two worms. Your teacher will pause the video here for you to write down at least three ideas for vocal and physical skills. You're going to rehearse your script for performance. You can do this in pairs, each taking a section of the dialogue each. Your teacher will pause the video here for you to rehearse your piece. Performance and review. You're going to watch your peers perform and you're thinking about what the most effective aspects were, what was least effective. How did the actors show what their characters were like through use of successful vocal and physical skills? What could be further added, changed or improved to make the piece more effective? Your teacher will pause the video here for the performances and peer review. That brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you've enjoyed exploring Blood Brothers.